Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. We are back with the 911T. It's day number three and it's time finally to ceramic coat it and protect all the exterior surfaces before we move on to the interior. So today I'll be going through the whole entire hydro line. So I will go ahead and ceramic coat the glass, the paint, the wheels, as well as the tires, just so we could add some type of protection. So whenever it goes back into a harsh element, it's still going to be looking amazing. Anyways guys, let's get right into it. To start off with, we're gonna start off by applying HydroCharge Plus and Hydro Slick. Now, I will be combining both of these to the application process on this Porsche 911T. The reason why is because I want the maximum shine and the maximum protection, but we are also short on time. The reason being is because the car is not going to be here for any much longer. It has to hit the road, so that's why we'll be using the Hydro line. Now, if you want a professional line grade ceramic coating, then you can go with our Carbon Force ceramic coating. That's going to give it up to protection up to five years. In this occasion, Hydro Charge Plus and Hydro Slick is going to protect you up to one year, and that's going to be a great scenario because the condition this car is in is not the best, but we still want to protect it because this car does have wear and tear. I mean, it has rock chips, it has scratches, the rear bumper is completely tarnished. So by using the Hydro Line, it's going to help us bring out the shine, reflection, and protection. So which one comes first? I know a lot of you guys always ask us down below in the comments, can I use Hydro Charge and can I use Hydro Slick? Which one comes first, Hydro Charge or Hydro Slick? It's always, always, it's always up in there. But to start off with, we always want to apply Hydro Charge Plus first, so you could go ahead and let this harden on the surface because Hydro Charge Plus hardens up to four times harder than your clear coat and it's going to self-level any imperfection on your paint. Now Hydro Charge Plus did get reformulated so you could also apply it on glass, paint, headlights, and much more. But in this occasion, we're gonna treat it just for the paint. Hydro Slick, on the other hand, is going to be applied on many different types of surfaces. Hydro Slick is completely different. It's a gel form instead of a sprayable form. And Hydro Slick is, can be applied on headlights, on wheels, on glass, on chrome, on metal, and paintwork as well. Now, how do you apply it? So we're gonna start off by applying Hydro Charge Plus. All you need is your bottle, a clean microfiber applicator, some brand new microfiber towels, and you need the area you're gonna be working on. To start off with, before using it, you need to shake up the product. The reason why you want to shake up the product is so you can go ahead and mix the, the silica inside this product. Now, well, what a lot of people do that they, they forget to do is Hydro Charge Plus is going too hard on the surface. So what you do not want to do is spray directly onto the car. Now I do know it is a sprayable formula, but the sprayable formula is very simple to just simply spray onto an applicator. About five sprays, put my bottle off to the side. Now you'll go to the area you are working on, and now what you want to do is take a section at a time. How I like to explain it is, if you overdo it, you might miss a high, you, miss, you might miss the spot, if I should say correctly. You might get a high spot, and whenever it goes back out in the sun, you'll see how improperly you applied it. So I have some Hydro Charge Plus on my applicator. Now I will go to the surface of this car, and one thing that this car is not helping me out with is that it's completely white. But what I am doing, I'm trying to do my best to overlap any previous passes just so I could ensure I have a full ceramic coated panel. Now Hydro Charge Plus is very user friendly. It can also be used in direct sunlight. Just make sure that your car is cool to a touch. But a quick pro tip for you guys, if you guys do have a garage, if you guys do have a canopy, pop that up so like that your Hydro Charge can be controlled and you won't be having any flashing effects. Now Hydro Charge Plus can sit on your surface of your car for 30 seconds up to two minutes, then you can come back and buff it off. In this occasion, we are here at Chemical headquarters and we have full AC. And what ends up happening when you have AC, you have a full control over how hot it gets inside your garage. Now, I'll put my, my applicator off to the side. I'll let it sit on the surface. And the reason why I want to use a brand new Mike Robert towel is because whenever you might wash a towel, so Joey might come out here, Nick might come out here, or even one of our wonderful videographers might come out here, they might use a towel for either for their cameras, for a wax, it's a glazed sealant. I personally do not know what happens on that towel, so that's why I always recommend getting a brand new towel when it comes to applying a ceramic coating. Whenever you do have a brand new towel, rip off the tag, put the tag off to the side, and then what I personally like to do is I like to flip it over to the short pile instead of the long pile because the short pile is going to allow me to remove any glazes, sealants, waxes, and ceramics much more easier because it's not going to drag. Use the long pile side to use it with quick detail sprays so you get the softest touch on your paint. Now I'll fold it and I'll go to the surface of this car and I'll just buff it right off. And one thing that I love about Hydro Charge Plus or our whole entire Hydro line is you do not need 
any type of elbow grease whatsoever to unveil an amazing shine and reflection. Now, HydroCharge Plus, what's, what's another cool feature it has, it actually has self-leveling agents in it that's going to fill in any imperfections such as micro scratches, micro swirls. So like this, you get the candy eye effect whenever it drives up in the sun. Any people that are viewing your car, they see the lustrous shine. So what we need to do next is go ahead and ceramic coat the whole entire car. Remember, we're only gonna be using HydroCharge Plus on the paint, even though I could also use it on the, on the wheels, on the glass. I do want to use it specifically on the paint because it's going to harden up to four times harder than your clear coat. So that when it comes into contamination, liquids, or any other type of contamination, it's just simply going to glide right off and it's not going to bond. Because I know you guys checked out our washing videos on this 911T. If you have not, I recommend you do so, or you guys can see right now on our screen, the paint had water dragging. And now after applying Hydro Charge Plus and our full Hydro Line is simply going to bead right off and it's not going to stick. And like this, we prevent water spots or any calcium buildup on the paintwork. Anyways guys, now it's time for me to apply it on the rest of this car. And then I'll get back to you guys to show you guys how fast and easy it is to apply Hydro Slick to the paint as well. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right guys, so we just finished applying Hydro Charge Plus to the paint and the paint is now popping. There's a nice shine, there's a nice reflection and nonetheless an amazing protection. But now we want to step it up even further. We want to get the maximum shine, maximum protection. So now we'll be moving on to our Hydro Slick. Hydro Slick is a hyper wax. What does a hyper wax mean? It is a method of applying a ceramic formula like a wax formula. It has no type of wax, it has silica, SiO2 in it, which is going to enhance shine and protection. So now what I'm gonna do is I'll get a brand new applicator and shake up my, bro my product. I'll open up the spout. I'm going to apply six dime size drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. I apply six dime size drops to my applicator. So after I apply six dime size drops to my applicator, now you'll go to your surface of your car that you're going to be working on. And you want to treat it the same exact way as applying HydroCharge Plus. You want to take it a section at a time. Now, what do you do when after you have a super saturated applicator? So as you guys can see, right now I have six dime size drops. Maybe by the time I'm on that side of the car, I'm only going to be applying two dime size drops. The reason why is because I'm already going to have suspended product living on my applicator and I don't want to oversaturate it because everything that comes off the surface, that's just excess. So less is more. So now what I'll do, I'll go to the area, I'll blotch it out so it won't fall off my applicator and now I will work it in linear motions. Now what is the difference between HydroCharge Plus and HydroSlip? The difference is HydroCharge Plus is going to be the base coat which is going to harden four times harder than your clear coat, while Hydro Slick is just going to enhance more ceramic properties, and it's also going to fill in any micro scratches or swirls that this paint might have. Now Hydro Slick is going to make your paint feel smooth as glass. So that is why we named it Hydro Slick. It's going to make the paint super slick, super soft, so whenever, whenever any contaminants land on the surface, it's simply going to bead right off.
After you apply it, what you want to do is you want to let it sit. Now you want to get a clean microfiber towel, and then same exact concept with the short pile, you want to remove it. So you can let it sit from 30 seconds to two minutes. In this occasion, it already flashed. I'll go to the area, and I'm just going to buff it right off. Now, for hydro charge and hydro slick, what we also recommend is keep the car away from the harmful element liquids for at least three hours. So if you have a canopy, leave your car under the canopy. If you have a garage, keep it inside the garage. Within 24 hours of it being applied on the surface of the car, it's going to enhance more shine, more protection, and the hydrophobic properties are going to get even better. So keep it away from the, keep it away from the harmful elements like this. Your ceramic coating bonds properly onto the surface. And before I forget, before you apply any type of ceramic such as HydroCharge Plus or Hydro Slick, one key thing I personally recommend for you as a pro is make sure your paint is in great condition and you are happy with it. The reason behind it is HydroCharge Plus and Hydro Slick is going to harden on the surface and any micro scratches, any scratches, swirls that live currently on your car after you ceramic coat it, it's going to harden which means you're gonna to have to bring out a polisher and polish the ceramic off to remove the scratches and swirls. Now, you're going to be working double if you go that way. That's why in this process with the 911T, it was a great example of a car that came in that was completely neglected, completely dull, the paint wasn't there, the shine wasn't there, and the imperfections were also living on it as well. So that's why we take it step by step, one being the crucial, crucial wash, two, we decontaminate the paint with the clay bar, Three, we polished it, now we're protecting it. You know, we're happy with the paint condition, we're gonna have more shine, more protection, and we're basically creating a shield whenever any liquids, calcium from water lands on it, it's not going to stick. So anyways guys, now it's time for me to apply it to the rest of this car, then I'll get back to you guys when it's time to apply Hydro Shield and Hydro Spin to the wheels, or I might jump over to do the glass. <laughs> All right guys, so now that we got off the body of the paint, now it's time to ceramic coat the wheels and tires using Hydro Shield and Hydro Spin. As you guys can see, these wheels are dull and neglected, but that is because corrosion over time, the car has been sitting so it got pitted, but we are happy with these results. Like always, whenever you're applying any type of ceramic to your car, be sure you are happy with the results because it's going too hard on the surface and then you might have to repolish it out to remove it. So we're gonna start off by applying ceramic coating to a the wheels. We're going to be using Hydrospin. So Hydrospin can be applied two different types of ways. One, you can spray directly on or for the very first application, just get a microfiber applicator and then spray some onto it. And now you'll go to the surface you want to apply it on and then you just want to rub it right on. So it's very easy to work with, especially with a microfiber applicator. You can simply just rub it right on and the microfiber applicator is going to contour to the surface. Now, after you ceramic coat your wheels, simply next time when you come to wash your wheels, water is going to slide right off, brake dust will not accumulate as much, and your wheel cleaning process is going to be a much more easier. Now, what type of wheels can you actually apply Hydrospin to? Hydrospin can be applied to many different types of wheels that are glossy. So all my mat owners, unfortunately, you can't use it. If you do want to clean your wheels, go ahead and use meticulous matte spray detailer, which is going to be in the links down below, or Diablo Wheel Gel to go ahead and clean them up. Meticulous matte detailer is also a sealant base, so it's going to protect from any brake dust or any, any other harmful elements that may land on your wheels. So I'll just rub it back on. And before I forget, Hydro Spin also enhances shine and protection. So I'll put my microfiber applicator off to the side. I'll get a clean microfiber towel, rip off the tag to ensure I'm not scratching the wheel. And then I will just buff it right off. And just by applying Hydro spin to the wheel, I see shine and reflection on the parts that are no longer pitted. I mean, this Porsche is a 1971. I am happy with these results. Like I said in previous videos, I mean, this is like a Porsche you just drive around and you don't basically take care of it as much. You still want to look after it. You don't want it to get it in any worse condition, but I am happy with these results. Now, 
How can I be efficient while applying Hydrospin? I could also be applying HydroShield to my wheels. HydroShield is a water-based ceramic coating dressing that can be applied on the interior and exterior vinyl, rubber, and plastic. This is going to provide a durable shield on your tires, like this when anything comes into liquid contact, comes onto your tires, it's simply going to bead right off. And you could also apply this first, then apply your favorite chemicalized dressing on top. Now, why do you want to apply two different types of dressing to your tires? The reason why you want to apply two different types of dressing to your tires is one, everybody has encountered tire blooming. If you're not familiar with tire blooming, that means whenever you're, you're just driving your car everywhere, through the highway, through the street, and then you park your car one day and you start noticing, oh snap, my tires are turning brown. This is going to prevent tire blooming because it's going to be, going to be a ceramic protectant that's going to protect your wheels, I mean your tires, from it turning dull or brown. So before anything, just shake up the product. And now on one side, I use Hydrospin. On the other side, I will use Hydro Shield. Now I'll go to the, to the surface and it's very easy to apply. Just simply rub it on the surface. And that is how simple and easy it is to apply Hydro Shield to your tire. Now, keep this in mind, in our previous video, we went through a full cleaning process. So if your tire is dirty, it's brown, do not apply it directly onto your tire. What I like to do, I like to let it sit. Obviously, you guys see right here where it says Kelly. This is a little bit extra. You could just get a microfiber applicator, towel, just buff it right off and you'll be good to go. Now, like I was saying, in our previous video, we went with a thorough clean. We cleaned up the wheels. We polished out the wheels. Then we also went ahead and used Total Extract to remove any tire blooming away from the wheels. And then after we did that, we are able to apply Hydro Shield to the tires because that means the tires are ready and good to go. So now I'll just give it one last pass. I'll ensure it's fully coated. Now one of my favorite things about Hydro Shield is it's completely dry to the touch. It's not oily, it's not going to attract dust. So if you live on a dirt or gravel road, it's not going to attract any dust. If you still wanna go even further, Get a used microfiber towel that you don't care about, just buff off the residue or a clean one. But that is how fast and simple it is to apply a ceramic to your tires and your wheels. Hydro spin for the wheels, hydro shield for the tires. Anyways guys, time for me to ceramic coat the rest of the tires. Then I get back to you guys to ceramic coat the glass and we'll finish right up. Alright guys, so now to wrap up this detail on the whole entire exterior, we already tackled the tires, the wheels, the paint. We're just missing one piece and that is going to be the glass. So now we'll be applying HydroView to the glass to get it crystal clear so we've got 2020 vision. Before I forget, we actually noticed that the tires are from 1987. Wow! 1987 tires, they look phenomenal. So at least they got clean, but I mean, the tire is now clean, it's dressed, but now we're moving on to the glass, which is going to be applying HydroView. So actually how to use it? One, you can spray directly onto the surface. Two, you could use two towel method. Three, you could use a single towel method. But in this occasion, I'll be showing you guys how to clean your glass with one towel, one glass here. It's fairly simple. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of dust on it, still sitting on it. So what you want to do is spray it directly onto your glass. If HydroView does get on your seals, it will not harm it. What I also like to do, spray some onto my towel. I'll go, into, I'll go in linear motions to remove any dirt, grime, debris. This unfortunately is hardened cement. If you guys wanna see a video on how to remove cement from your glass, drop a comment down below. I let it haze, as you guys can see it's hazing a little bit. Flip it over to a clean side. Now this is where you need to be very careful. You always want to buff off with a clean side. So this side has suspended products. This side has a clean side. 
Obviously, the towel, you refold it, has more sides, but you always want to buff off with a clean side just so you can ensure you have streak-free glass. Now, a quick pro tip for you guys. I know clean glass can be difficult because I used to struggle with it a lot. Obviously, the haziness is on the interior, so if I grab my finger, there's no more haze right there. That's because maybe the owner of this car was a smoker, who knows what, but there's a little haze film in the inside. We'll take care of that with a different product, like such as Streak Free. But in this occasion, we could actually use Hydro View. The reason why we could use Hydro View is because this car has no tints whatsoever. If you do have aftermarket tints, make sure to use a different glass cleaner, such as Streak Free, or Signature Series glass cleaner, or even glass only to clean up that type of glass. But in this occasion, it has no type of tint, so we can use HydroView. So HydroView can be used on the exterior glass, same thing as the interior glass. But cleaning your glass is going to be super easy after you learn this quick pro tip. So on the outside, I went ahead and wiped in linear motions. Now on the inside, I'm gonna go opposite. The reason why I wanna go opposite is just because whenever I deal with getting some type of streaks, I know where the streaks are coming from. I don't want the streaks to be obviously super difficult to, to notice where it's coming from because as soon as you notice where it's coming from, whether it's on the inside or outside, that's how fast you clean glass without getting streaks. Because if I see horizontal streaks versus vertical, then I know, oh, well, that's the outside or that's the inside. But just like that, using HydroView is how simple it is to ceramic coat your glass. There's no more haze, the glass is clear, it's ready for a drive. But if before I do that, I need to clean up the rest of this car, such as the glass, the windshield, the rear windshield, this little small glass, and get everything pinpoint. In the meantime, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, subscribe, all of the above, and turn the post notifications on because we have brand new videos for you guys every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, if you guys want to pick up any of our hydro lines today, hop on to our friend at KimWines.com. You can go up there or drive down to your local detail garage. I recommend you do so. It's a car enthusiast paradise. As always, I'm Henry, and thank you for sharing Passion Shine with Chemical Guys.